the NASA logo even NASA hasn't seen. It's just one of many one-of-a-kind pieces of American history that have found a home in Warren. That story on today's Daily Buzz. Today's Business Journal Daily Buzz is brought to you by 717 Credit Union. This Batmobile replica is truly one of a kind. Mark Mardoff, owner of Curated Vintage Goods in Warren, purchased it from a professional boat maker who built it from wood in the 1980s. He hand cast those aluminum rims. While the item is one of a kind, it's by no means unique among Mardoff's collection. These are spent casings from World War I when guys were in the trench and they were sitting for months, they started making artwork out of them, pounding it. The Warren Native store is full of items you won't find anywhere else. A good example is sitting in this glass case. When NASA was created, they invited three of their graphic designers to submit presentations on the NASA logo. One of those designers was Jim Motorelli, a 1949 graduate of the Cleveland Institute of Art. His design, which incorporated symbols representing the NASA mission, was accepted, becoming official in 1959. That is the original plaster casting he presented to NASA. Next to it sits another design he created, but never submitted. Mardoff bought both from Motorelli's son. I think NASA might want to see that. Yeah. <laughs> because of how rare they are, the Batmobile and NASA logos are among the few items in Mardoff's collection that aren't for sale. The 4,000 square foot space is full of objects that tell the story of America from the 1950s through the 70s. Everything, I say pop culture. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know if you saw them, but we have the uh, Black Panthers wanted posters, the originals. Mardoff grew up in Warren before joining the Army and eventually settling in Texas where he became an architect. It was around that time that he and his wife began collecting. We have a lot of conversation pieces, and that's what happens here is people come in for an hour. In 2018, Mardoff decided to move back to Warren and open a shop to sell his items. He was told about this location by a friend who works as a plumber. The plumber said, I'll tell you what, Mark, if you buy that building, I'll do all the plumbing work for free. Yeah. That's Warren. Sure. That's Warren. People say what's in Warren, that's what's in Warren. Curated Vintage Goods is divided into five rooms. The first room, Mardoff calls the showroom. It has a, a Paul McCobb from the 1960s sofa. That is Florence Knoll that credenza with sure. a laminate face, leather pools. One of the early ones, it has the stickers on it from Fifth Avenue. The second room is the collectible room, filled with toys and action figures of all types, many with the original boxes. They're curated, like the Robert the Robot, he has his original box. In this binder is a letter written by Alan Freed, the radio DJ who was credited with coining the term rock and roll. Well, that's his handwritten first edition typed apology after the first right. Coronation Ball. Yes. The third room, the pop-up room, is currently filled with Cleveland and Dallas sports memorabilia. I have a, an older 70s Browns helmet, but I also have one of the rarest helmets ever made. It had the CB logo on it. Sure. And there's a lot of, you know, discussion about did that even ever exist? The garage room is where Mardoff keeps all of his vintage motorcycles and racing items. 1965 Sup Honda Superhawk. Uh, over there we have a 67 Triumph Tiger. The final space is the furniture room. Got everything from, again, dining tables to sofas that are mid-century. This dining room table is a very famous table. It's got Star Trek chairs. Mardoff's collection also includes Idora Park items, 375 belt buckles, ashtrays, and photography items. All of it meticulously presented and curated. So you're not hunting and pecking, you're not trying to find things. Right. Uh, I can tell you where everything is. Though if you do want to look through Mardoff's collection, you'll have to do it in person because he doesn't have an online presence, something which he admits isn't good for business. Oh, I am actually trying to sell things. Okay. Yeah, but not, but I have to be honest with myself. If I really wanted to sell it, I'd put it on Etsy. And you'll have to hurry because he and his wife also close the store every winter when they go back to Texas. Which again is not good for retail. Everybody says that's the number one right. key in retail tell us to be open. You can read more in the October issue of the Business Journal out now. Click subscribe under the contact us tab to order your copy today.
717 Credit Union, savings power to give your business an extra boost. Business savings, certificates, and business money market. 717 Credit Union, make your money work as hard as you do.